What's up, fellas? Coming back to you <clears throat> on the Gumby channel. Got a lot more progress on on Pokey. If you guys, you guys, a little look back. A lot more. We've got the knock sensor on it. We're getting grounds done. You know, power cables. We got throttle. I'm thinking my fuel regulator might not go there. I'm gonna do something different. I've got a custom hard line going to my slave, one of a kind. Inside, I have my Magnus clutch valve. You know, custom brake lines over here. I already got my banjo fittings. She getting there. I'm trying to, trying to get it complete. So when she goes back for headers, I'm even trying to get a, I got one of my buddies giving me a Mishimoto uh, RSX EP3 radiator. If you guys, I don't know if you guys remember I told you back in the day this car was K-Series. So those tabs on the bottom, I just need the grommets. But I could fit an RSX RAID or EP3. But the only thing I'm worried about is my alternator. I might redo just the budget because it's cheaper to modify my my radiator support. What I'm thinking about doing is tubular. I've always wanted it. But when I do tubular, I'm going to do it two-piece. This side is going to have one that just comes down over there to down there. And then that side is going to have one that goes over there to over here. So pretty much all the front is going to be open. And the only thing the radiators, the raid supports are going to hold are the headlights. Call them headlight supports. But they're going to hold the headlights and then going to hold quick latch mounts just so the front front of the i haven't cut it i'm gonna try not to cut it but on the hood i'm gonna have quick latches on the front i'm even thinking about doing quick quick latches on the back so my hood is removable i've all i know people would say get the k-tune and get the ones that come up but the way i want my hood I wanted to be able to just like four quick, quick latches and everything comes off. I don't know if you guys remember. I had my half shaft in there. You know, sorry about the oil. It's not coming from those bolts that I made. It's just the oil pan bolt. It's loose. You know, having everything drain out of it. So when I put new oil in it, it's all nice and good. Wish I had a pan on there, but fucking lazy. Like I said, I've been working on some wiring, old school. I have my ground, I have one main from the block going to the battery, that's the ground. I'm gonna have my starter, I need to make those. Even need to make all my fuel lines. I ordered fuel rails from P2R, but they got fucking lost. They got lost in the mail. P2R, great customer service. I think Steven, the owner, um, he's gonna send me an extra, another set pretty soon when he gets the next batch out. But we're trying to push, man. I wanna be able to put rails on. I plug some up. I have gaskets. I'm using stock TB. I'm trying to get it done. I wanna fire it up soon. You know, my harness is down there. We have all my extra plugs, which I'm going to wire for, let's see, this is A, A-E-C-U, I believe this one's going to be for, one of these is either reverse lockout solenoid for the gear selector, and then reverse light, this is going to be VSS, and then this is where I'm going to have my ignition output for the switch panel. I was gonna run my my starter from here, but I'm gonna run it direct. I'm not gonna run it from this. I plan. I don't know if you guys follow followed Boosted Boys, but they have a company that makes. Uh, I forgot the company name, but they make aftermarket starters. But I want to message them because since on Jada K, there's shaving involved and everything. 
I'm going to talk to him. Maybe we could prototype something that's going to be a direct bolt-on for JDK guys just so we could have, you know, if you follow Boosted Boys, those starters, they have a lot more, I guess, cranking amps. They they crank more. You know, they're not as slow as these. So I, I want that on this, but I'm going to do that later. I'm going to contact Kyle, see if he wants to help out. We'll see. I'm not looking for free shit, but I'll pay for it. But look, made some custom hard lines. I have solid mounts, but I wanted some flex. But she getting there. I have my alternator. I don't want to run the adjustment idler for it. I'm gonna run the direct belt to it. P2R sells one. I'm gonna help them out. I'm gonna stand by their products, so I'm gonna order a few more things from them. I talked to them. He, I, I told him straight out if he wants to help out with this car and stuff, he could pick out a location on the car. We'll put a P2R decon on it, you know, support. There's a few more things I want from them, like their polyurethane gaskets. They make an adapter for my, for, let's see, for that, for the 80 millimeter TB. I have an extra starter. Put your, put your bullshit parts over here. Carbon synchros, you know, but. Back to this shit. She getting there. I'm trying to locate a gear selector because I want all this all done. I want to be able to shift it, have brakes, clutch. We're going to bleed everything. I want to be able to have everything on it so when it goes for the headers, everything is on it so the headers are built in a way where we're not going to be having to worry about shit like rubbing against the headers or anything. I want to be able to have as much on it, even making a bullshit intake to there. Or if it goes out the hood, we'll do something. I'll make a nice intake with a V stack. But the way it's going right now, fellas, we're moving. It needs axles. Let's see. Axle placement, you know. I need a couple. I need that bullshit fucking hex plug. You know. I need to put fluids in it. New spark plugs. I'm glad when I bought this motor. They put a brand new timing belt. They put a brand new tensioner. They put a brand new water pump. Everything looks pretty brand new. I got my knock sensor up in there brand new knock sensor if my p2r fuels didn't get didn't, didn't get lost in fucking usps we would have injectors and fuel rails in it but we're gonna wait we'll get some rails in there and once we get rails in there i'm gonna be able to start building my my fuel system we're gonna have 10 10 we're going to have uh, inline pumps, Dorch Works. We're going to have that 10 line go all the way up to a Y. That Y is going to split up into 8-8. Eight eight. They're going to go into each side of the rails feed that way. We're going to have two lines, 8, that are going to be running to each side of these. And then we're going to have a 6 go to the return on the tank. I'm thinking about leaving the fuel regulator right there or I'm going to do kind of something custom where I can mount the regulator kind of like somewhere in here. But I need a I'm going to order my my housings for the the water housings. I need to complete this setup so when I get my radiator, we'll figure out something. This is isn't too complicated. I'm more worried about, you know, radiator, trying to mount something up in here. The only reason I want to be able to mount a radiator in here and I want to be able to remove the weight bars, you know, add them back and forth, but I don't want to be able to change so much. I want to be able to add weight on the front and then remove it. But put it this way, fellas, a lot of work.
we're getting there, pushing. Let's see how it goes, man. Gumby built, baby. That's how we're going to do it, man. All the way.